So far in the course, we've shown how to create a new ASP.NET MVC project and describe the theory of the MVC architectural pattern that drives the framework. Now it's time to put some of that theory into practice by beginning to build the model that we'll use to build the functionality in our site. Since we're building an online auction website, it only makes sense to start out by creating the auction model. As mentioned previously in the MVC pattern video, model is really just a fancy word for a class that contains some data and maybe some behaviors. So in order to create the auction model, simply create a new class named auction in the website's models folder. To do this, you can right click on the models folder, then select add class. Then name your class auction and click add to have Visual Studio generate the class and add it to your solution. Now we've got a new class that we can populate with properties and behaviors. Here I've added some basic properties that define an auction. I'll start with an ID property, which is really just an identity field used to distinguish one auction from another. I've included the title and description fields to give the auction a name and describe what the auction is about. Then I've provided an image URL property that users can populate with the URL that points to an image that shows the item up for auction. Next, we need to know when the auction starts and stops, so I've provided the start time and end time properties. Finally, we need to know how much the item is selling for. We'll provide a start price that users must enter when they list the auction, and then we've also included the current price or the current bid on the auction. I've made this field nullable to reflect the fact that auctions may not have bids. We'll be enhancing the auction model by adding more properties and behaviors as we proceed through the course, but this should be enough to get us started. Before we move on, however, I'd like to point out that the models folder is merely an organizational convention. You're not actually required to place your models in this folder. To keep things simple, however, I'll continue to create models in the models folder throughout this course but it's usually a good idea to place these classes in a separate project altogether, and I highly recommend that you do so when developing your own ASP.NET MVC application. Now that we've got our model in place, move on to the next video to see how the controller will put it into action.